Erev Tov Chavarim. I'm Stephen Benu. You're watching Israeli News Live. Got some very interesting uh, articles here. Just wanted to share with you real quick here as the day is uh, ending for us. Uh, we are, by the way, still working on the special report that we started the other day about the uh, 10 nations, the New World Order, and what's going on there. We will continue on that broadcast. We know there's a lot happening in America right now based on the things around the election that will be uh, on, uh, of course, November the 8th on Tuesday. Uh, and there is a lot of distrust, a lot of concern uh, we know with uh, the Hillary camp, all the things that have been exposed there. I've also been concerned a little bit, guys, about Obama handing over the Internet to uh, a outside source from the United States. Of course, that is part of the New World Order plan. No doubt freedom of speech will probably end up being removed as a result of this. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to Danoon Institute. I'll be putting the link in here below. That is our biblical teaching channel. Uh, we'll be teaching more, especially our Shabbat messages will begin to appear there. Uh, they'll fade out from Israeli News Live, but we'll continue though to, con to cover on Israeli News Live prophetic insights dealing with the end times that we're looking at here. Uh, so we'll be, again, going into things uh, tomorrow. We'll actually be looking a little bit about uh, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and their part in the New World Order and what the differences are, things that we've been uncovering, uh, very interesting things to say indeed. And yes, I still see Donald Trump, yes, he is the lesser of two evils, but both, unfortunately, definitely ties in a New World Order system. Uh, so we'll be talking about that later this weekend on more of those broadcasts there, as well as a special report on the Noon Institute. Very interesting broadcast I have there to share with you about uh, God hiding his word in the, uh, in the clay jars around the world. Got to share something interesting about that, how God has always hidden his word, looking at some things there. Anyway, uh, let me take you to some breaking stories here. Very interesting here. You haven't even seen this on mainstream media as yet, not even RT or, or Sputnik as far as I'm concerned either. Uh, this is a very close call of Russian pilots there. They just so happen to get rescued right before their helicopter is bombed by uh, uh, the U.S.-backed rebel forces, ISIS groups, whatever you want to call them there in the region there. I'm going to share with you the video footage here. They were already having a technical problem uh, when they had to land their plane in enemy territory. So a rescue helicopter came in and they got out of the helicopter just in time as they're taking off. The one on the ground is hit, as you can see. Uh, the other helicopter is actually going over off to your side of the screen. There went off that way there, uh, and it'll actually cut back around the men running to their jeeps there to, to get out of Dodge there before another one of these uh, missiles comes in uh, to strike them as well. Then you'll see the helicopter come back down uh, as that vehicle there happens to be leaving there on your screen there. You'll see the helicopter swoop back around where he is at there in just a moment. Uh, of course, the wind is being blown around by his helicopter blades there uh, but you should see at any moment now the, the the second helicopter there it is there coming around there now uh, as they rescued the the two pilots were rescued there uh, they're gonna pick up these guys here and they're getting out of Dodge uh, very uh, harrowing effort on the Russian military there to rescue their pilots there later this was what the remained of the wreckage uh, that was shown by the ISIS members the different militants they're fighting there against Russia and, and President Bashar al-Assad uh, also another interesting thing that happened I had to share this with you here this is really sending a shock wave through NATO right now Poland claims that Egypt sold the Mistral warship to Russia for only one euro. I would have liked to have bought it for one euro and then sold it to Russia, at least for a hundred. Anyway, uh, just a joke there, but uh, this was something very serious indeed. The Mistral warships, those of you that remember that ship right there, two aircraft carriers built by France for Russia, both of them for helicopters, attack helicopters. As I noted in a broadcast a little while back, I believe these warships will end up being used against Israel, but I was thinking more along the lines of Egypt in the near future. And not to forget now, Russia has the entire armada of their ships down there in, Sir uh, in the uh, Mediterranean right now, which no doubt is going to cause 
could cause some major problems here. This is what might ignite World War III. Let me remind you of a scripture, though, that this brings to my mind. Jeremiah 49, 23. Start with verse 21. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall, at the cries of the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Adam be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. Concerning Damascus, Hamath is confounded. So we know it's about the Syrian war here. All right. And Arpad, for they have heard evil tidings. They are faint-hearted. There is sorrow on the sea. It cannot be quiet. That lets me know. NATO has a dozen ships in this region. Now Russia has a dozen ships in this region. And also with the two mistrials coming up for Russia for only one euro. Guess what, guys? Now Russia's got 14 ships. We're going to see sorrow on the seas. I really believe that that is something that is that is right at hand, very concerning to say the least as we see this report going on. Don't forget as well, Russia uh, is also about to do its dawn raid on Aleppo where they will close the skies, doing a no-fly zone over Aleppo. They have warned Turkey to stay out of the area or be faced being shot down. And at that, Turkey also is reportedly still amassing tanks and troops near the border of Iraq, going up there, right there along the border of Salapi, there inside the Iraqi territory. I believe it's going to be because they want to take Mosul. Erdogan has been saying that belongs to his country there. And again, it is a fight for the territory, uh, as we can see there in this new world order. We don't know which side Erdogan is going to end up getting. Is he going to become part of the European Union? Is that why they drove all the refugees into Europe? So Erdogan, if he become part of the European Union, He'd have some political power there. But if not, and he has to fight it out with the Saudis in the long run, we know there's a, a fight for who has the religious dominance in the world in that region. But nonetheless, Erdogan is definitely wanting Syria for his own. And this is why NATO was trying to topple Bashar al-Assad. I think that what went on with Russia coming in there, because even Kerry said that threw them off in the secret uh, release uh, video there, Kerry couldn't understand what did Russia come down for? I think Russia came down because Russia got sick and tired of the New World Order agenda taking all the land that was supposedly promised to Russia. Again, if that's all the case, Putin is playing ball with the New World Order, which isn't a good thing, period. All the New World Order is definitely an evil propaganda machine. Uh, at any rate, these are the stories that are breaking right now going on. We've seen a lot of that troop movement to, to the border, uh, especially in Twitter. Some of our friends there are sending me video and photographs of it happening. And so I know there's a lot of tanks headed in that region there. And it looks like they're going to have a battle with the Kurds because the Kurds are also moving uh, tanks and equipment and salopi into the Turkish side of the border there. So this could get pretty nasty in a hurry. Anyway, as a close out on the broadcast, let me bring something to your attention. I hate to say this because uh, I don't like to ask for money all the time, but I have to bring this up, not because of needing to ask for money at this point, but I got an email in. Someone is saying that they were called by an individual claiming that they were trying to raise money for us. Friends, no, we will not do that. And I have shared this with you guys uh, before. Let me state it again. Anytime we come, we try to come only twice a month here on Israeli News Live on our YouTube channel or the Noon Institute from that channel there. And we just have a friendly reminder that it takes your support in helping us meet our needs to keep our broadcast going. I will not send you a telephone call asking for money. I will not email you asking for money. Okay, that's just not going to happen. All right. Uh, is not, period. And so I want to make sure I, I, I nip this right here and now because I hate to see people get caught up in, in some kind of conspiracy, someone lying, someone trying to, to uh, dupe the people into money. I'm not into that. We only look at trying to ask twice a month, one or two days during each time that we ask there, just as a friendly reminder because it's your love for this work that keeps us going. And other than Israeli News Live, YouTube, right here. May, by the way, check what you're watching. The News Channel 428, they do have permission to post our videos, but they do have in the description the link to our website. So if you're giving, you can give directly online, israelinewslive.org, or I place our direct PayPal link inside of our videos on 
Israeli News Live YouTube. If you're watching some other channel, please make a note of that because I would really it would discourage me to know that someone is posting our videos without our permission. Uh, not in the case of News Channel 24, but they do put our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org, there. And uh, so I just want to make sure that people are not doing something that is evil. We also, our, our address is in the Czech Republic. It appears at the end of this video. And our address is Czech Republic P.O. Box 46. Uh, and, and that is Prague 56. 15006 is our zip code, Czech Republic. And so I say that as well because if people are taking the time to call people, I'm afraid that somebody might be trying to copy the video and put a different address even. And I don't want to see people that, that trust what we're doing and, and, and send money to us at the turnaround and find out that someone is only doing something evil. So I, I am sorry that that's happened. Again, we apologize for that. Um, but let me just make it clear. This is the way we do it. Anyway, thank you for watching. God bless you. We love you. And again, Danun Institute, YouTube. I'll put a link in the description below. Subscribe to this channel. It's our teaching channel there. And I've got a good, powerful message coming out this weekend that I'm sure you won't want to miss. Shalom.